sending a message to the Soviets by ordering 25 of their people out of the UN mission about Bill, Danilov? Bill, I hope you'll understand and forgive me. I know there's bigger questions here at these uh, meetings, and uh, I'm going to dwell on the purpose of the meeting that's brought us here together. What about the suggestion of some in the administration that there's not enough concentration on communists in the Philippine government then? You'll be talking about that? <laughs> we'll just have to see what comes up in our conversation here. I guess we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> this way, please. Thank you. Thank you.
Excuse me? We were looking forward to your Oh, that's for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dekino, are you going to get the assistance that you wish to get from the United States? Um, maybe we'll answer that later or when I leave uh, for the Philippines. You could have added, even though it is a go, it's very pretty. Well, the weather's just perfect. And, uh, we turn that on for business. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I've been quite lucky uh, as far as weather is concerned. In fact, many of our rallies before, uh, you know, even in the uh, so-called rainy weather, I've been lucky to have the sunshine come out just long enough uh, while I'm outside. Thank you. This way, please. Thank you. How's your cold? How's your cold? I don't have a cold. There was, I have an allergy, and uh, Camp David, I'm allergic to some pollens and have been for years. And, uh, I have allergies too. Uh, uh, this uh, Sunday up at Camp David, when we came down, I started sneezing. And uh, you see, here in this part of the country, uh, California, our pollen season is in, in the early summer, late spring, because of our rainy season in the winter. We're back in this part of the world. It's it's on the phone. And all of a sudden, suddenly, you know, I was just sneezing in my head off for the last couple of days. It's getting better. What do you think for it? Well, there's an uh, anti histamine tablet called the Genesis. And uh, those I say can take my decision. And then there is a very wonderful rose opera uh, And uh, we are going to stop that little over the head of the house in a number of minutes. Is this an over the counter or do you need a prescription? Um, I'm going to look at the phone. I think that's over the counter. Because uh, I, I do have uh, those problems. Today. In fact, um, our first year in Boston, because everyone had said what beautiful foliage there is, so we did go out and, and that was torture for me that night. I'm just coughing away and I really have to be very careful. And so when there's a light on my heart. The other allergy capital in the world, what's your press there? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, it is just Sacramento, California. I was just trying to convince me to say that you convinced me that I should go to an allergist to doctor to do it. And then I found out that he said to me, Sean, but after all the shots from California, when I came back here, I had to start over again on the move. I couldn't face it with it.
truly a pleasure to welcome and meet today with Philippine President Corazon Aquino. Her courage and her commitment to democracy wants the Philippine democracy to succeed and to prosper and that we'll do what we can to help. Overseeing an historic transition. In the coming months, a new constitution will... In the meantime, President Aquino has been doing her level best to unite her richly diverse people under a banner of freedom and opportunity. Knows in the long run nothing would better serve the Filipino people than unleashing the entrepreneurial spirit and putting the creative and foreign investors take notice of this incredible opportunity to help build a country. For our part, we will hold the United States, including improved treatment under our generalized system of preferences. We also considered ways in which the Philippines can provide a larger share of the goods and services consumed by the U.S. military facility. I understand and am comfortable with her position. The next review of our defense relations is scheduled in 1988. Medical supplies and services has been approved. In the future, to the largest extent possible, future U.S. aid will be designed to provide the greatest benefits without exacerbating the country's and affection between the United States and the Philippines. Thank you, President Reagan. This has been an opportunity to get to know each other, to explore common issues together. Above all, though, I can say that for my part, the most important aspect has been the chance to meet each other. We are both politicians who set great store on face-to-face -face encounters. 
government to government contacts have their proper place. Issues do not generate of their own accord the decisions that will resolve them. In the end, decisions will with a clear sense of priorities, with a recognition that we must both work hard to strengthen what we are doing to set things right. I am gratified that President Reagan understands and supports what we are trying to do. Difficulties. A new constitution is in the final stages of drafting. There will be a reform. We can combat our remaining problem, the insurgency. As you know, we are pursuing a political approach, but this is backed by the military option. In all these areas of rebuilding, I hope we can count of freedom, human rights, and democracy. So as today's discussion showed in just the way you do. For two countries who have a faith in God, in freedom, in the family, and in democratic values, we should allow nothing to come in the way of an ever-growing friendship. President, you get your minister and ours, and we shall have the signing.